Hi, my name is Dr. Daniel Markman uh, from Metamorphosis Plastic Surgery. You may have been watching our TV show for the past couple of years, which we greatly appreciate the patients who've been involved and the people out there watching. I am the office manager here. My job as office manager is to ensure that things are running smoothly. Our patients come in for their consults, they see Dr. Markman, then they go see the patient coordinator. My name is Kristen Foster. I am a registered nurse and I am one of the injectors here. Um, I'm also a laser specialist and I also perform PDO threadless. I'm Sajine, I'm a physician assistant here at Metamorphosis Plastic Surgery. And so a lot of what I do, I actually assist Dr. Markman in um, a lot of his surgical cases and I see a lot of the pre-operative and post-operative cases here as well and what I'm not doing. Hi, I'm Tanika, Tanika Jennings. I'm the massage therapist here for Metamorphosis. I have been a massage therapist for six and a half years and I love doing what I do. I love meeting new people. I love the staff. Hi, my name is Sean. I am the marketing director here at Metamorphosis Plastic Surgery in Mexico. Um, I've been here for about a year now. It's an excellent, excellent place to work for. Um, I handle all the social media. Hi, I'm Elena and I'm an aesthetic injector here and I really like my job. I really like making patients feel good about themselves on the inside and out. And I've been working here for about 10 months. My name is Holly. Holly. I am Dr. Markman's or one of Dr. Markman's patient coordinators. I help patients get through the surgical process if they have any questions. I have answer all their questions. Hi, I'm Wingo Guxa. Receptionist here at Metamorphosis. I think that you know I'm one of the first people that people see when they first come in. Um, it's great to um, greet people and you know to welcome them. I'd like to introduce the newest member to our practice is Utkala. Utkala is my new PA. So Utkala is going to be seeing patients with us, doing pre-ops, post-ops, and helping out with surgeries. So she's the newest member of our team and we're very lucky to have her with us. Welcome to another Metamorphosis show. Through the years, we've shown you how changing the way you look changes the way you feel. Today, we're going to show you how this very personal journey begins. Then we will follow in the next coming weeks the progress of each case. It is said that a journey begins with the first steps and you are witnessing those steps today. Previously on Metamorphosis. Um, hi, my name is Anila. I am an influencer and I am with Metamorphosis Plastic Surgery to get uh, rhinoplasty done and I'm super excited. I've wanted it done for like 10 years. I've always um, done other things on my face like fillers and stuff to kind of balance out my facial symmetry. Um, so I feel like getting a rhinoplasty would kind of help um, me achieve like the look that I've always wanted to without doing too much everywhere else. Yeah, so my nose has been my biggest insecurity, especially because I'm always taking pictures. I am my worst critic times 10 for that reason. Um, so I guess I just want to change a couple of things. I want it to be more defined, um, a little bit more cinched in. And from my profile view, I just want it to be a little um, less um, on my nostrils and stuff. So when I smile, it doesn't spread out as much, if that makes sense, um, if I'm getting into like the specifics. but. Yes, so overall I just want to achieve that look and, you know, have everything else tie together. As a beauty influencer or just, you know, for myself, um, I'm really excited to get this procedure done. So. The moment that I was like, I'm going to do this was probably a couple months ago. I, I put it off long enough and I saw the opportunity. I was like, you know, I, I wanted this, I've, you know, saved for it. Everything kind of is aligning. 
So why put it off any longer? I have, you know, things coming up in my life and I want to feel my most confident, my, uh, my best. So I definitely don't want to put it off any longer and I just want to go for it. And I don't think I'm even scared anymore. I'm just so excited. I think this practice is awesome. Everybody's super welcoming. Um, they answer all my questions without me even asking them. So they're super informative. And yeah, everybody is like pretty like, I guess understanding of what I want to when I come in and I'm like, oh, I would like more symmetry in my face or I'd like things to be a little bit more chiseled here, or like stuff like that. Everybody's different. Everybody wants different results. And I think they really cater to that. And they don't just have like a one size fits all solution for everybody. Botox or facial or something like that. I would suggest them like going and checking out my highlights because I kind of show like a step by step of what they've done for me. So if they want that specific service, they can kind of go and have an idea of what that entails of and go from there um, or they can reach out to me and just ask me and I will honestly just tell them my experience and it's been great over here so um, social media handle on Instagram is at team underscore Anila so t-e-a-m underscore a-n-e-e-l-a -E -E uh, so yeah I'm super excited to work with Dr. Markman all right so next we're gonna go see Anila Anila's a young girl who is interested in doing a rhinoplasty so rhinoplasty is commonly known as a nose job so basically what we typically do is try to meet their goals, first of all. So there's no one right nose for anybody. It's a matter of what they want. And there's lots of different things we do. Sometimes we lower the bone part up here. Sometimes we narrow it. Sometimes we narrow the nostrils. Sometimes, we, I'm sorry, narrow the tip. Sometimes we narrow the nostrils. So some people want a little bit of everything. So we're gonna go talk to her and see exactly what she wants to do. So let's go meet Anila. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, good. how are you? Good, doing good. Good to see you again. Of course, as always. So you get ready for your big surgery, a little surgery? Yes, I'm super excited. I've wanted it for so long. Good. For like 10 years. So I'm excited. <laughs> That's what most people do. Most people wait and wait and wait. And once they find, they're like, oh my God, I wish I'd done this year. I know. Before. I'm like, so. I wish it was tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's not too far away. Yeah. All right. So we're doing your nose, correct? Uh -huh. So we talked about a couple of different things last time as far as what you wanted. Yes. Let's go through that again today. So sure. I'll this mirror and show me what you want to do again. Okay. So basically I would like a more defined bridge, like over here. Okay. I would want it more cinched in. Uh -huh. And then I would like to bring in my nostrils, just kind of shorten them. Okay. And then just lift my tip up slightly. Good. So what do you think? I agree. Um, so your bone here, your, your nasal dorsum or your bridge, people call it. Mm -hmm. um, some people have a big bump, you'll have a bump this way, which are a little wide right there. Mm -hmm. You see a little tiny bump on each side here. Right. So we shave that down, mm -hmm. and then we actually cut your bones and bring them together a little closer. Okay. So it's all done through the inside of your nose, but we cut your bone along here. Mm -hmm. We shave this down, and then we bring them together. Okay. So it's going to give you a more, more narrow, bony part of your nose. Mm -hmm. This part here is all cartilage. So you're a little bigger here than you are here. So we try to size that down and probably bring them both together just a little more narrow here like that mm -hmm. to match this. So you don't want to be narrow here and full here. Most of more of a delicate petite little nose here. Mm -hmm. And then your nostrils, you mentioned. Um, so we do what's called weir excisions, which is a scar in the crease. It mm -hmm. fades away to nothing. I've never seen a big problem with that scar. We just take out a little bit of your nostril here and sew it straight down. So that makes your nostrils a little less flaring, okay. a little straighter. Um, I think you at one point mentioned you wanted to bring this up a little bit. Yes. So we can do that, but I wouldn't bring it up too much because mm -hmm. when you look from the side of somebody's nose, you should definitely see that. Mm -hmm. If you don't see that, it looks really strange. Okay. So you don't want that. Okay. Um, so all the surgery we do through a little V-shaped scar under here. Mm -hmm. Everything else is inside except for the scar in the crease. Um, nose looks pretty symmetric otherwise. Nostrils are never exactly the same, but mm -hmm. this definitely helps to just make everything a little more narrow, give you a little more delicate of a tip and a, na a nasal bridge to match. Perfect. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Today, Anila is back for her surgery. So how are you doing today? Doing good, excited. Good. Excited, nervous. Time is now. Um, I'm definitely nervous, yeah. <laughs> but I trust you. Well, thank you. You're gonna do fine. So just to review what we're gonna do. So your goal was to narrow the bony part of your nose up here, correct? So we're gonna narrow that little bump there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna give you a little more definition of your tip. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to narrow your nostrils a little bit. So it's gonna make your nostrils a little more narrow here mm -hmm. and a little more down this way. I know you said you didn't like the profile with your nostril curving. Mm -hmm. So for that, what we do is we put a piece of cartilage graft in there. 
So we're gonna take some cartilage out of your septum, which is what divides your two nostrils inside. Mm -hmm. Take a little piece of the cartilage out of there, and we're gonna put a little piece on each side here. So between that and pulling down, it's gonna make it better. I mean, we, you wanna still see some part of your cayumella from the side. So you still have to have some visibility of that, but not quite as bowed. Okay. Okay. And that's about it. So we're gonna shave down the bump, lower this a little bit, narrow it a little bit, and then refine the tip. Okay. And then the, this part will be narrowed. The bony part up here, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So, so that'll th give the appearance of like a... Yeah. <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> Never seen me do that before. Yeah, I would do that for pictures. <laughs> Maybe good. I won't have to anymore. Yeah. So that, that narrowed this part when you did that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's your cartilage. So we're going to narrow your cartilages a little bit. Okay. And we're also going to narrow your bones up here a little bit so it all matches. Okay. You don't want to be real narrow here and full here. So right. okay. it'll just be a nice smooth slope down. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, you're going to have a splint on the outside. You're going to have splints inside as well. Mm -hmm. So they have tubes you can actually breathe through. In the old days, we used to pack noses, which was horrible. So nowadays, you put these splints in and they have tubes you can actually breathe right through. Awesome. Makes it much, much, much better. Sounds good. All right. So you're going to see a couple little stitches outside here. Everything else is inside. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. So we'll be starting shortly. Okay. Um, any questions? No. I think you covered everything. Okay. Very good. All right. So let's go back and we'll get started. Okay. Sounds good. Very good. It's called a rim incision. A what incision? Rim incision. Right. So right along the cartilage edge here. And up towards the rim of her nose. So basically going to skeletonize your nose, take everything off the cartilage, everything off the bones. So you can adjust things inside and make it look good.
So these are what are called your lower lateral cartilages or your alar cartilages. And most people who have big ones like this, these are not huge, but most people want a delicate nose, we trim off all this extra cartilage out here. So that's what we're gonna do from her, for her is take off this extra cartilages and kind of sew them together a little bit to narrow her tip. So she wants a real fine, delicate tip. So that's gonna help do that for her. So for that, we're going to dissect underneath as well. I could just hold this for me now and a fine pair of pickups first, Adsons. Thank you. So for this, we want to take the cartilage off the mucosa, which is paper, paper thin inside there. Because we don't want a hole from inside of her nose to in her tissues. the cartilage, just getting rid of the excess. One of the most important things in plastic surgery is symmetry, so mm -hmm. I'm sure everything looks even. So cartilage here, cartilage there, I'm take a little more here. Yeah, a little bit. Yep, so a little wider there still. Noses, a millimeter or two makes a huge difference. So her septum's crooked. So I took out the cartilage part of it and just broke the bony part. So now they're both Initially, I couldn't even slide this in here. Mm -hmm. So I've got it as far as I could and opened it up and just cracked it. So now it's open both sides. And we put the splints in afterwards, and that's gonna help to keep it together. So we're doing a septoplasty. Your septum is what divides your right nostril from your left nostril all the way back inside. Part of it's bone, part of it's cartilage. So the part we wanted to take out was a little piece of cartilage to put in her nostril here to straighten out her nostril a little bit. So what we do is your septum is made of a piece of mucosa, a piece of mucosa, and cartilage in the middle, and bone in the middle. So we took this the mucosa off the septum on both sides, and I did it through one little incision on this side, so now we gotta close that back up, put the mucosa back together. So a couple little stitches there, scissor, suture scissor, thank you. Yeah, so this is our cartilage graft. It's got a little bend to it, so we typically do to try to straighten it out is cut some of the fibers on the inside of the bend. That helps make it less curvy. Curves okay in her nostril because it's kind of a curved structure anyway, but don't want to make it curve more. So that's going to be our cartilage graft for one side. A little soft tissue attached doesn't hurt anything. But and then our other one. Take a look at the other one. Where's our other one? Here's our other one right here. The same thing, nice little straight piece of cartilage we're gonna put in her nostril. Okay. Now we gotta find the hole. I hope it's big enough. Never want the hole to be too big. It's always easier to enlarge it, but you don't want it so big that the cartilage can move around. That should do it. You can't see it, but it definitely helps to straighten it out. See how curved this one is? This one's much straighter. All right, graph number two.
So this is what we call weir excisions, where we take out a little piece of your nostril. It helps to minimize flaring of your nostril. It helps to pull it down straighter, which is what she wants. So we don't want to take too much because we don't she's not really flaring much, but she would like to have less of that curve, so. Alright, so local. We don't know what we're gonna do. Might be hydrofacial or microdermabrasion. I'm gonna let her figure it out. So we just finished surgery on Anila. Anila wanted a little more definition to her tip of her nose when we're narrowing here and we're narrowing her bones. And profile view, a little flat here and a little hump at the end, so a little more projection of her tip. And we also lowered her Kaimel, I'm sorry, lowered her nostrils a little bit. So she didn't like the fact from the side view, she saw a little more Kaimel than she likes. So we just finished surgery, she did beautifully. Put a little cartilage graft in to help straighten out her nostrils as well. Um, so she's still waking up, as you probably can see. And um, she'll spend about an hour in recovery and we'll head back home. So we will check her out next week in the office.
So I'm Dr. Daniel Markman, board certified plastic surgeon here at Metamorphosis Plastic Surgery. So we're announcing our new association with Dr. Sanjay Joes, who is a periodontist and implant surgeon. Um, he has the most high-tech uh, office equipment, um, a robot called Yomi. Um, all of the best equipment possible for dentistry. Um, we've been affiliated with him for a couple weeks now. He does amazing work. Um, so we're definitely proud to have him as part of our team. So not only does Dr. Joe's have the most high-tech equipment in Maryland, but also his philosophy is to have pain-free dentistry. So his office is set up not only with this high-tech equipment, but also with extreme comfort settings as well. You can al al alter the ambience in the room, the lighting, the curtains, the shades, whatever, just to make sure you're comfortable. For years, I've seen patients here in my practice for body contouring, facial rejuvenation, and I've noticed many of them don't have the greatest dentition. Um, some people don't know what to do or what they can do. So we now have affiliation with Dr. Joe's so that he can take care of these problems for our patients as well. So if you have an issue with your teeth, uh, missing teeth, broken teeth, give us a call here at the office and we will set you up with Dr. Joe's.